Welcome to the quick start tutorial on finalizing your garments, trims, and UVs. Go to the library window and double-click Fabric to access the fabric presets that come with Marvelous Designer. Hover over an image with your mouse to check the details of the fabrics available. Using the search bar, we can type in keywords to quickly search the library. I will choose Knit Cotton Jersey, then drag and drop it into the Fabric Style window. I can also drag and drop it onto the patterns in the 3D window. Double click on the fabric to access its properties in the fabric window. Under Physical Property Preset, you can choose from many different fabric preset options in the drop down menu. Every fabric preset from the library comes with a texture diffuse map and a normal map. You can assign a new texture map image by clicking this button or remove it by clicking the trash can icon next to it. Click on the square next to color and pick a color from the palette. To assign this fabric, select the pattern pieces you want. Then, in the object browser next to the fabric, click the assign key. You can make a copy of the fabric by clicking on the copy button. Double click on the name to make text changes. I will change the color and name of this fabric to a lighter color blue. Then, assign it to the pocket. Use the spacebar hotkey to toggle the simulation on. You can see that the wrinkles of this garment look blocky. For more detailed wrinkles, you need to decrease the particle distance. Select all of the pattern pieces you would like to change and go to the property editor. Input 5 for particle distance at 5 mm. Particle distance will create accurate wrinkle details when working at human scale. Go to the display mode of the 3D window and turn the fabric display to mesh. It has become much more dense when lowering the particle distance. This will also reduce the speed of simulation. Therefore, it is best practice to have a higher particle distance while working and lower it at the end. Let's turn the fabric display mode back to textured surface and apply some top stitching to this shirt. Selecting the top stitch tools, I can place top stitching on any line segment in the scene. I am going to change the fabric object browser to top stitch to access its properties shortly. Select the segment top stitch tool. Click on any lines to apply top stitching to them. Zooming in in the 3D window, we can see that the top stitching is applied near the edge. Click on the top stitch in the object browser and we can edit its properties. You can change the type to texture and bake it. Into your texture maps during export or leave it as OBJ to export as geometry. Under Shape, you can choose one of the top stitch styles that come with Marvelous Designer. You can also edit the length, width, space, and thickness of the top stitch. If you made a custom top stitch, you can import it as a custom OBJ. I will change the color of the top stitch to something contrasting to the t-shirt. Under Offset, you can make the stitching more or less close to the edge or line it's on. Next, I will create a new top stitch with Add, then apply top stitching to the pocket using the free top stitch tool. You can select the line to replace top stitching with the edit top stitch tool. You can apply trims via the trim window. Changing the top stitch window to the trim style window. You can bring in custom assets, but lots of default trims are in the hardware and trims folder. Selecting ribbons. Drag and drop into the scene or into the trim style window. Use the assign button to replace trims with other trim styles. Double clicking on trims will bring up their properties. 
you can change materials, weight, and color. Onto the layout for the UVs for the shirt. I will change the 2D window into the UV editor window. Right click on empty space in the UV editor and select Reset UV to 2D arrangement. You can manually move your UVs or use the UV packing tool. I will select Apply and I'm ready for export.